Hi guys! So um, today we're not in my bathroom. Today we're at my friend Victoria's house. As you can see, she's laying on her bed. I'm um, sitting on her bed and she's doing a paper and I got really bored and I wanted to do a quick haul with you guys because she has an iPod too and my iPod's broken anyway. Wouldn't be able to do it anyway. So, woo, okay. Today uh, we went to Sephora. Okay. Whoa! Yeah, and Petco. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Oh, what she got me. So we did the same thing. So she has it too. Anyway, so I got this really nasty looking. Oh wow, that looks really gross. Why did I get this for my dog? Look at <laughs> it. It's a it's supposed to be an ear. So I think it's supposed to be a pig ear. Why does pig ear look like that? Why does it look like that? Okay. So also what I got from Sephora. Is I got a refill. What she got for me um, is this refill of Juicy Couture because I don't have any more because I broke my bottle. Yeah. Um, and they wrap it up in this little thingy. What's inside? These are both Kat Von D products. Okay. What we first, what we have here at first is the Poetica. Is that is it. What is? Yeah. Whatever. Looks like this. It's. I love her packaging, like, I love all, most of Kat Von D's, st like, makeup line and, um, scents and stuff like that, um, I just, I kind of don't like her as a person anymore, kind of lost respect for her after the whole Jesse James, that's his name, right, guy, but I do like her products, and it's the Poetica, I think I'm saying it right, and, um, it says poetry in a bottle. And this is what the bottle looks like. I really like it. It has like a gradient effect where from the lightest to darkest or like ombre, whatever. And it has like this little roll on ball. I don't know. It's outside. And you just can roll it on. And at first it's really kind of strong. You don't need very much at all. It gets toned down. It's a very nice scent though. I think it lasts longer than the other one, I think. And um, it's really floral and warm scented. It's really it's a really nice scent. Um, we both tried it and we both liked it. The next thing we got is the Kat Von D High Voltage Eye Primer. It's a, like pretty much a base for your eyeshadows, like that e.l.f. one I have. But um, we tried it in the store. We've tried all these in the store and really liked it. They also have this kind of cool one for smoky eyes. They have like a charcoal gray kind of primer too, which is kind of cool, especially if you do that kind of look a lot. Or even for out. Like, I really love the packaging on this too because it has all these like stars and stuff and everything. Um, Oh my god, oh, sorry, I thought there was a crack in it for a second. And this is in the skin colored one. It has this little, like, applicator. I don't know, what would you call that, doe foot? It's not doe foot, it's like a little... Thingy. Oh, I put way too much on my hand. Hold on. Okay. And it's just, like, a flesh toned, but it can be blended out. Um, I compared it with, I'll show you guys probably later when I do my comparison between this and the e.l.f., that this one grabs on the color a lot. It, like you compare it to, I'll just show it you guys later, but it just blends in really nice to your skin and it gives almost like, it's a little lighter than my skin tone, but it blends in really nice. And it gives almost like a little bit of like a tacky feeling. So it, it like, it doesn't automatically just dry and it's not really, it's not like an oil based or anything. Sorry, I just did that twice. It's not an oil based or anything. So it feels really nice on the skin and it doesn't like feel like it's gonna move, which is really nice for the skin. Sorry, keep touching it because it feels a little tacky. I already said that. But yeah, I think that's it. You have anything to add? Nope. Okay. You show what I bought you. You got the same thing? Oh, she got stuff from Pecto Go too, but this video is getting long. Where's your, where's your bed? Right this was our day out at the mall. Well, kind of at the mall and other places. Okay. And what she got, she got from Petco too. She got this. Um, easy dog finger brush I'll ask her how it is and probably in one of my videos see how well it is easy it is to use on your dog because her dog breath be kicking it <laughs> is she's a cute dog though and then this oral oral care I can talk um, toothpaste it is by I don't even know how to say that also she got this really cute little collar thingy with these little Diamonds. I, w I need to get Kira a new one. She hers is way too small. I, w I would get something like this for Kira. It has like some bling. It's nice. The last thing she got is these Rini's 
Um, treats for dogs for 15 to 25 pounds, petite. And I think it's like oral care or are they what are these? Are they just like for it's fun? For their teeth. Oh, it's for their teeth. It's like a dental thing. It's like yeah. She doesn't like those one things. But hopefully she'll like this. And yeah, that's all we have for you guys today. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.